Today is a fashion Friday and my name is Sofia Lavina and we are going to speak about how to mix colors because seriously, I'm so tired to see girls and men wear black and white outfits like come on there are a whole rainbow of colors to pick from so i know it's complicated because i've struggled myself with mixing colors and if you would open my wardrobe it would be completely black white and gray and some weird colors that didn't look great on me so it had to be stopped <laughs> and you know how i realized that i can mix colors i remember this guy it's a color wheel that I used all my life and especially as a designer. I don't know why it never occurred to me that you can use these techniques and principles of the color wheel in fashion. And that's what I'm gonna teach you today. So, as you remember, the color wheel has primary and secondary colors and to use it you need to mix those colors together and that's pretty much it. But there are certain principles of mixing them and here they are. So the first way to mix the colors is the monochromatic way of mixing color. Basically you're taking one color and you roar the total look of it. This is how it looks and this uh, examples have the same hue of the same color. But you, you can also mix uh, colors the same color but with diff in different hues. So especially if you're a shorter size, don't wear the same color on yourself because you will look shorter, unfortunately. But you can take the same blue and take it to the darker shade or lighter shade and mix and match it like this. It looks amazing, super elegant and expensive. Second way of mixing colors is using analogous colors and that's what I enjoy because not everyone has the same hue of orange in their wardrobe but you definitely have blues, greens and purples or orange, yellows and reds and basically you're taking similar colors and mixing and matching them and this is how it looks. I like how it looks because it gives interesting dimensions to your outfit and it's not as monotonous as a monochromatic look. Third way is using my favorite complementary colors. Please remember that the complementary colors not really complement each other but they fight with each other because they're so opposite but they create an amazing outfit. Here are some examples and it's just an amazing way to mix colors because you have different shades. The most important thing is to remember is to pick saturation and hues of those colors carefully. Fourth is split complementary. This is more complex because you're not using one or two colors, you're using three and this is really rare when you use uh, three colors in your outfit but sometimes it happens here is a great example basically you're taking split color uh, you're taking complementary colors and just split it and there are a lot of uh, online tools to see how it works so split complementary colors is a great way you can even have two colors that are complementary and add just like a tiny little bit of the color as a split so mix and match it it's really fun to do what this way is to use achromatics. That's actually where I was coming from. I used achromatics a lot and basically it's gray, white and neutrals. They don't count as colors. So if you have a complementary or monochromatic look, you can still have it, but add achromats like white, black or gray. Here are some outfits with achromats. I'm wearing an achromatic outfit right now. I'm wearing white top, red earrings and a red skirt and it looks nice and wonderful and you don't need much to do a great outfit with acromats. So this is on mixing the colors. Now let's switch to the things that you have to consider when you're picking your fabrics and colors. First, match saturations and hue of the colors. So if you're wearing a bright red, pick bright pink or yellow or whatever color you picked. If you're wearing a pastel dress, please don't put neon bright yellow bag because it will look out of place. Yes, there are exceptions, but it's much easier to follow these rules and understand them and then to break if you need. Second, 
match your colors. Repeat them somewhere. So I'm wearing a red skirt and I added red earrings and red lipstick and now when someone looks at me their eye will follow, like flow and see me in a harmonious way. Uh, it can be a really tiny add of color like your nail polish, like my nail polish is purple so maybe I can add some hairband that is purple or top with purple details and it will still work. Uh, the exception is, is if you want to highlight something or make something pop. For example, you're wearing a chromatic white dress and you add super bright uh, blue bag. Obviously, attention will go to the bag and to your hand and your elbow and probably hips, depending where your bag is. Or you're wearing a super bright yellow belt and it will highlight your waist. So there are some ways you can uh, make your outfit even stand out more and grab attention on certain things you want to grab attention to. So this is pretty much it and it takes practice but I hope this video will help you and inspire you to combine colors and add it to your wardrobe because it's so much fun I cannot explain you. So leave me in the comments which is your favorite color to wear or what color is super complicated for you because for example in my case I cannot wear orange colors because it's really warm for my skin tone and it's a no-no for me but I love purples and blues so that's about me I would love to know what do you think about Fashion Fridays should we continue them please subscribe to my channel put likes and, and see you in the next videos love you guys bye